What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Talking about Chucky Season 2 in this video here again today. Chucky Season 2 has a release date that's been announced today courtesy of Entertainment Weekly who revealed this exclusively first earlier today. Chucky Season 2 will debut on the USA Sci-Fi Network this Halloween season in October. On October 5th more specifically at 9 p.m. I'm assuming Eastern Time and we also got our first bit of plot details that I guess we can also kind of theorize about even though again it was it's brief for the most part. So it says after his diabolical plan to invade children's hospitals in America was foiled in season one, Chucky now seeks revenge on those he holds responsible. Surviving teens Jake, Devin, and Lexi, confirming of course those three will be back, Zachary Arthur, Bajor Vin Narson, and Olivia Allen Lynn, along with his ex Tiffany, now his sworn enemy. So this already tells me this is going to be a very probably interesting season as, as far as like what I'm thinking of already in my head is what is exciting about this. It says Chucky again is now seeking revenge on those he holds responsible for his foiled plans at the end of season one, including Devin, Jake, Lexi, along with his ex Tiffany, now his sworn enemy. So I'm thinking more about how interesting it's going to be to see what he does with Tiffany, because I have been talking about the fact that there's def it definitely was seeming like we're going in that path, a revenge angle from Chucky to Tiffany, considering what we know Tiffany did at the end of season one uh, in that argument they had, like out of the plethora of arguments and toxic encounters they've had during this toxic murderous relationship they have it's kind of disgusting honestly when you think about it but not to get off topic so when it pertains to that i'm excited about seeing something like that fleshed out on tv because we've already seen these two have their beef and have their toxic moments on and off throughout the series ever since bride of chucky we've seen them have some issues in brides to the point where they were having a final showdown fight with shovels in a in a cemetery in in bride season or not season but uh seed of chucky at the end of seed of chucky she is in the hospital chucky tracks her down after saying he's she's gonna leave him and take glenn glinda with with her stabs her in the head with an axe you know that shining reference him and glenn have a fight in the hospital after he does that to tiffany but then of course we learn she had her body swapped into jennifer so then he actually didn't get to kill her so maybe chucky honestly maybe there's a narrative they could formulate as to how he's always maybe been upset that he was too late to kill tiffany when she transferred her soul into jennifer successfully he of course definitely did not want that to happen because if she's in that grown woman's body of course that's more of a challenge than f facing a doll the same size as you but now that she's in jennifer's body tiffany that being i'm sure they could come up with a narrative in which they explore that chucky has always been upset that he was too late at stopping that before tiffany switched because he was dead set on wanting to kill her for leaving him or trying to leave him anyway now in curse of chucky they're back together she's out here doing favors for him and then of course they seem to be on a clear path as far as what we can see and then now at the end of season one here they, here they are again more drama more bs and it's going to be interesting to see how chucky goes after her we know that he's gone after human tiffany before when she was in her original body thing about that though is again look how more strategically planned out that was considering how he killed her in the original bride of chucky movie it's going to be interesting to see what he would come up with to do going into chucky season two assuming this is going to be something that they flesh out across the season where we can explore this this toxic relationship and this rivalry that's going to be brewing of course in season two because of the fact that with the movies it's been a lot more rushed given that the, of course we're working with a movie with a series you can flesh this out a little bit more get your audience hyped to see these two and their encounters that they may or may not have going into each episode this season but of course the more interesting thing i know a lot of people will be interested about is how he's going to go after the three trio of characters we have now devin jake and lexi primarily jake since of course the assumption is that jake will still be our focus uh, I have seen some people speculate that maybe Devin is away at a boarding school or something because of some behind the scenes images that have come out there or an image of him standing next to Jennifer Tilly and the, the jacket he, is out, he has on has like a uh, 
a boarding school type of logo or something that's just something i've seen online doesn't mean it's actually going to happen if that's devin's narrative going into season two i'm not shocked because again i wouldn't i've been talking about this in other videos what's devin going to do devin literally has lost everything i mean he can go stay with a relative and maybe that's why he's at this school he doesn't go to school with them anymore he goes to this boarding school if that's even a plot thread for him going into season two uh as far as like devin or not devin jake i meant to say jake again he's lost his father lost lost that house lost all three of his members in the other house his aunt his uncle and his cousin where does he go i'm curious if he will actually even be staying with lexi I don't know if a dynamic like that would be something people would want to see in season two, a dynamic where we can see Lexi and Jake living together and kind of just seeing that softer side of Lexi come out a bit more. Um, honestly, with Lexi, ever since she came, ever since she was introduced in season one, I felt that as though there was something within her that, of course, was being influenced by her parents so this side of her that i know a lot of people think is unrealistic maybe because of how rushed they think it seems i don't think it was necessarily rushed as much as it is probably i see where you might find it a little bit unrealistic that she had a change of heart like that i don't want people that didn't think that i guess that she's not completely still just like how she's presented herself to be i think of her as like gail gail weathers there's layers to lexi and we're seeing these other layers of her after chucky starts targeting her targeting her family and she starts to feel a little bit more remorseful for what she's done to jake because it opens her eyes to certain things versus getting comfortable in that other energy that we know she can bring to the table that i don't think she should ever lose because it shows a lot of confidence that the character has it's just that she needs to dial it back on some of that mean girl stuff that she likes to do so i can't wait to see lexi and how she's factored into season two if her and jake are living together because again i completely forgot that jake also really doesn't have anywhere to go either he's lost everything as far as i can tell both houses that he would have been staying in can't really stay there anymore so my assumption is that he's going to move in with lexi we'll see if that's the case and we'll see what happens with season two when it airs there was also like a little announcement package that came out on the official twitter page or social media accounts for chucky with a short snippet i guess a footage from season two but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video